everyone. Hey guys. Welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. No, you're not. You're the show pony. <laughs> because you've now got a TLP pigment named after yourself. I know. That is so amazing. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please go check out yesterday's very, very, very special episode. I just go check it out. It was really, really awesome. Yeah. And the piece, fantastic. Yeah. I'm going to shake your hand on that oh, one. Thank you. Well done, sir. Thank you, sir. Well done. All right, so to today's poll, happy Sunday, everyone. Yes. Back to normal viewing. Um, I really enjoyed my wandering pour that I did on Tuesday. Yes, and I did too. Thank you, sir. That was a ring. Yeah. Um, so today I'm going to try a wandering straight. Oh, okay. Yeah, wandering straight pour for me today. A wandering pours for me is something very tricky. So I'm going to keep trying them until I get something that I really, really love. Nice. Yeah, wandering straight. What about you? What are you doing today? Uh, I'm going to be doing a grenade pour. Okay. Yes. We just did the, what is the difference between a flip cup and a grenade? Yeah. So you'll all know what to expect in this pour. And we've got some really beautiful colors. Yes. Really That's stunning. why I wanted to do a grenade pour was because of these colors. Okay. I like that. Do yeah. you look at colors and then get inspired to do a technique? Let us know in the comments if that's what you do too. Um, all right. Nothing else to tell you other than please go check out yesterday's episode because yeah. it's a heartwarming one for me. And um, we've got some fun collabs coming up. We'll tell you more about that in the end. Go, go watch some fun pours. Yes. Let's let you get to the table. We'll see you there. Oh, well, hello, the ladles and jelly spoons. Welcome to the table. All right. Nice. I've got a 20 by 20 inch canvas in front of me. Jeremy and I are both ducking wasps that have decided to come into the garage with us and paint <laughs> today. We're both allergic, so that's always fun. Um, we're going to use some similar colours and some additional colours to a pour that we did not that long ago, which we really loved the colours in. So let me tell you what they are. We've got Turquoise Green by Amsterdam. Then we've got Primary Cyan by Amsterdam. We've got Phalo Blue by Amsterdam. I got Silver by Amsterdam. And then we've got some Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics. And then, of course, we've got some 24 karat gold. So, um, oh, and I've also got Titanium White yes. on here too. Um, as a separation layer and to, to give me some interest, I'm not sure that I'm gonna use the silver this time around. Okay. So that's the one thing I'm going to omit, Show Pony, but I know you're gonna use it in your pour. Yes. So, what am I gonna do on this 20 by 20 that you have backed and pinned and also squirted for me so it's nice and tight? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna do a wandering straight pour. Okay. It's not something I do very often. I seem to struggle a little when it comes to the wandering pause for some reason. I used to be able to do them, but then suddenly I've forgotten how to do it. Um, but I'm going, I'm a trier. God loves a trier. So I'm gonna give this one a go and do a wandering straight pour on this canvas. Okay. All right, so um, in order to do that, I first must layer this cup. You, you, sure, you sure do. I surely do. Now, this is a 20 ounce cup. Yes, it is, 20 ounces. Um, I will use it all because I'm greedy like that. Um, but I'm going to decide the way that my colors go in based on how they're gonna come out the cup. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna start off with some of the cyan. This is the cyan, I love this color. And I'm going to do somewhat small-ish layers, but not as small as I would do if I was doing a ring pour, for example. Some gold next to some dioxazine purple. Now you will probably be able to see that these are all nice and thick. That's because they have been mixed today with 100% mix. So it is just mix and paint today because we wanted to keep these nice and thick. And that's exactly what we did. I'm not gonna put a separation layer between the turquoise and the blues because they are all blues. But when I go back to the purple, I definitely will. Which is the plan right now. I'm gonna put a little bit of white again. Keep that one away from the other colors for the time being. Yeah. And that, sir, is me done. That's one beautiful layer cap. Thank you. 
Alright, with this wonderful cup of many colours, I'm now going to straight pour her onto the canvas. And I'm kind of going to go somewhat in this central-ish area. Backwards and forwards, like around and kind of doing something fun. Okay. I'm going to do it. Very nice dismount. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you saying it. <laughs> Some interesting stuff here. Yeah. That very. I'm going to say, and I'm very happy about where it's all sitting because it's going to give me the opportunity to mm. stretch this mm -hmm. one out. Now, this is phalo blue. Once again, mixed with some of the mix this time and for this only color, other than the dioxazine purple, this has got some water added to it. So it's going to be ever so slightly uh, runnier than all the other colors. Now, the reason why the dioxazine purple had some water to it was because it was a heavy body color. Um, so it's just a slightly thicker than all the Amsterdam paints. So let's get this flow extender all around this composition. All right, ladles and jelly spoons, what have I done? So I've got my flow extender down, which is a beautiful phalo. Mm -hmm. I've torched it off twice, actually, because it needed it. And now I'm going to stretch this bad boy out, all show right. pony, you know what time it is. It is tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out.
Um, wow. <laughs> so I, I think you're either going to love this one or hate it. Mm. Um, I love it. I really, really love it. Um, there's a lot of really interesting parts to this. I like this whole area here, which kind of looks very kind of like organ like it looks like organs like the intestines to me mm. and then i love how the dioxazine purple with the white has kind of like ombre into the blue shades over here I, I really really like it it's it's a little crazy i get it but um there's some really really interesting parts to this mm. um so yeah i'm super excited about this one actually um really enjoy it i have touched it off i've scraped my edges let me take you in for a close-up so you can see all the fun stuff definitely let's do it Alright guys, I am super excited about this. Yeah, you're grinning from ear to I ear, am, show I am. Why are you so excited? I love these colors. Right. I love these colors and I think they're going to be great in this grenade pour that I'm going to be doing. What have you got to say about my pour that I just did? I really like it. I don't think you did. Um, you know what? It's just really different. Okay. It's just really, really different. I'm okay with that. I'm okay yeah. with different. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. Yeah, I'm so, glad you liked tough. it. Yeah, no, I, I didn't like say it. I didn't like it. Well, your face It's it. just different. Your face tells me you didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smiling, you guys. Do not listen to him. Oh, he's grimacing. <laughs> he's like, it's like he's just sucked a lemon. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get back to my oh, pour. Sorry, this is my please. moment. Yeah, okay, this is my moment. <laughs> Go for it, Chapo. You're doing so, a grenade? I am doing a grenade. How is this? Yes, I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. It has Love been it. taped and pinned on the bottom. Great. Um, so why don't I just jump into this? Yeah, because I've already introduced the colors. I know, I know. What are you going to grenade, oh sorry, what are you going to dirty pour into? Purple. Ha! Huh. Purple slurple. Okay, go Purple. for it. Do it. You did that last time. I know, and I really liked it. Well, there you go. Now, we have never done a grenade using paints solely mixed with, with mix. mix. I am fairly confident that other artists out there have. Uh, I can't believe that no one has tried this, so I know that it's been done, but it's gonna be really interesting to see what a really thick consistency does to yeah, a grenade. Yeah, to a grenade Because we have not added any water to any of these paints. So these are all mixed, just acrylic paint and mix. And I would say that they're probably six, five to six to one. Yeah. Being very careful. With I am gold. being very careful with that I gold. I saw that. Now, show pony inside is dying as he's got paint on his rubber gloves. And I know he's squirming. <laughs> I am. I totally am. I have paint on my rubber gloves. Now, and I can't. I, I can't grab the cups because the cups are too slippery now. At this moment, I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, what's that? The lovely Kathleen, our East Coast girlfriend from Cos Creations, actually gave you a whole pot of oranges. Yes. Would you like to throw it in? No, because the blues and the orange will make purple, will make brown. Okay. I just wanted yeah. to check. I was just checking. Yeah. I um. Yeah. You thought about that already. Thought about that already. Okay. That's that cyan. It is. It's like my favorite blue blue. Hmm. I'm trying to decide on if I want to add a little bit. I don't want to add a little bit more of that. Um, that purple is going to be pretty predominant. The gold I added enough of. And I think, I think I'm good with this. A bit more white? No? No. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I okay. think I'm good with this. You've definitely yeah. got more than enough paint than you need, yeah. that's for sure. Um, yeah. Is this white paint or is this sweat on the canvas? That's white paint. <laughs> Thank God for that. No, it's fine to be there. I just didn't want you spritzing all over the canvas. It's I know. It's particularly warm this weekend in Texas. It sure is. Boy, I'll say. Boy, I'll say. All right. So, let's get to putting my base coat down. Okay, and your base coat is what? 
It is this beautiful phthalo blue. It is, it's really wonderful. Yeah. This is actually the scrapings that I've just scraped off, off the yeah. table. Yeah. So, you know, when people say, we waste a lot of paint doing fluid art, my response to that is, oh, hell no, we don't. No. Because every bit of paint we scrape up off the plastic sheet just goes back into right other back pores. Right back into other pores. Yeah. And yeah. even the left, I, if I showed you our shelf right now, it's maybe got 30 cups with plastic lids on it of leftover paints. Yep. So um, we tend to use every single ounce of it, even if it doesn't stay on the canvas. Yeah. Right, show pony? Yeah. Let's move off my soapbox now. All right, guys, so I got my base coat down. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my cuppas. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. <laughs> if you do so, say, you, do say, so say so yourself. Excellent. All right. And because it's a grenade, it doesn't really have to sit there for any real nope. length of time, right? Ready? Are you going to count me down? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> it took a second. I'm seeing a lot of cells happening. My goldie baby. All right. Oh, I like the loop de loop lip. Mm. That was very interesting. Very interesting. Guys, I'm already in love with this. I'll just leave it. Yeah. Just let it I'm dry. I'm just going to let it dry Take like him that. in for a close-up. If it wasn't so thick. <laughs> if it wouldn't take seven <laughs> weeks to dry and properly crack like the Sahara Desert. I know. Um, okay, so, well, you know what time it is. No, I don't. It is tilting time. Let's tilt this grenade cup out. <laughs> Oh
Wow, guys, hmm. this is me done. Hmm. I'm in love with this piece. I think it's absolutely stunning. Yeah, those colors both were actually came out very cosmic. Yeah. Um, there's definitely something very galactic about that color scheme. Oh, death of a fly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I really, really like it too. I'm going to say I like it, even though I don't want to say that because you didn't like mine. But um, <laughs> no, I think it's really pretty. I liked yours. Whatever. <laughs> Send us home, big boy. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get my edges, torch it off one more time, and take you guys in for a close-up. Let's close do up. it. Let's do it. So there you have it. There you have it. Hmm. Flippers cuppers? Yes. So what did you think? That grenade pour I thought came out spectacular. Oh wow. Yes. Okay. It was one of my favorites. It had like all that blue and that mm -hmm. turquoise, uh, or was it aqua? I aqua. can't remember. Aqua. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I just thought it was absolutely stunning. I loved it. And I really loved it too. I, I, it's very hard to get a composition that I don't enjoy with either a flip cup or a grenade. Right. Because I just love the lines that yeah. you get when you lip them. Yeah. Really, really pretty. I like that one a lot. Thank you. Um, and I really enjoyed my wandering straight port. I enjoyed this one far more than he did. <laughs> Yet again. I'm failing to impress the show pony. That's not true. With my paws. That's not true. I love this one. I loved the ombre effect between the dioxazine purple and the blues. Mm. I really love that funky, huge, but kind of like lettucey, like brain, kind of like intestinal kind of shape that I got up in the top. <laughs> and then like this really wonderful, like rivers of color and lines down on the bottom. It was very bizarre. Yes. But it was a really, really fun piece for me. Yeah, I really enjoyed this one. I think what I what I said at the table was, it was very interesting. That's what I said. It's not that I didn't like it. Mm. I thought it was very you interesting. You know, people say that when they mean they don't like it. <laughs> it's like, hmm, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I get it, Shoko, whatever. Uh, but it, I really enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun. Mm. Yes, it was. It was fun. It was a little whimsical. Space lettuce is what I'm going to be calling this one. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so there you have it. Um, if, if you are looking for today's acrylic pouring and fluid art Facebook challenge, yes. we have another guest. Oh. This time you have to go and check out Kathleen from Cos uh. Creations episode. So Kathleen is going to be talking to you guys about the challenge for this week and she will be judging it as I normally do or we normally do on yeah. Saturday. And then she'll, and I'll be announcing the winner on her behalf. But go watch Kathleen's episode. Hmm, I wonder what it will be. Um, but go check it out and you can see what she's got to do. have you do. I'm tripping over my words today. I'm making it up <laughs> as I go along. But you know what I mean. Uh, all the information is going to be in the description box. Yes. None of that makes absolutely. sense. Absolutely. It all made sense. All right. Um, thank you for being here. Happy Sunday to you all. We hope you're having a great week. Yes. Next weekend, it's the We Are Family Pride collab. Yes. And we have something really, really fun coming up for you. Oh, yeah. I am planning to do something very different. You've never seen me do this on the channel before. It is very, very different. So we'll see what happens. Nice. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to have time to bust it out. But you have a great week. We have a great weekend. And we'll catch you back here on Tuesday for another episode. Nice. Yeah? Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you very soon. Have a good day, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, don't forget to go catch Gina. She's up next. Oh, yeah. And now to spank the Patreons. Yes, let's spank the Patreons. Let's do it. Who are the Patreons? Well, the Massy Posse, we like to call <laughs> them, are a group of people that have signed up to patreon.com. And on our Patreonage, you have the opportunity to get levels and perks for different things. Yes. So at one level, you might get a sneak peek behind the scenes video or some footage. At another level, you'll be invited to monthly off the YouTube channel live streams. And at a separate level, you might also get once a month tutorials. Yes. So it's a really fun opportunity for people just to have a completely different view of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. So we have some people to thank. Yes. At our gold level, 
We have Elizabeth Galano, Gillian Kennedy, we have Gloria Salaki and Jane Klein, we have Janice Swansea and Kelly Stowell, we have Kirsten Blackley, we have Linda Seriani, we have Mary Doulas or Mama Doulas, Mama Doulas, Patsy Petrelli and Rebecca Hawes Winters, we have Sharon Luffy and Stephanie Hancock, we've got Tammy Housebrook, we've got Terry Leshner and we've got Trisha West. Yes. Then in our platinum level, we have Elaine Burton, Janice Pittman. And Steve. And Steve. We have Susan Chigori and Susan Shepperson. Susan Shepperson. Yes. So thank you so very much to those guys and everyone else that's here down below, our bronze and silver Patreons too. We really yeah. appreciate you. We really appreciate you wanting to be here with us and support us through this wonderful journey of art. Honestly, we really can't thank you enough, so thank you so very much.